Welcome to our channel, where we delve into pressing global issues shaping our world today. In this video, we turn our attention to the escalating tensions in the South China Sea, particularly between China and the Philippines. The South China Sea, a strategically vital waterway, has long been a point of contention among several Southeast Asian nations. However, in recent years, tensions have reached new heights, primarily due to China's assertive territorial claims and aggressive actions in the region. China's expansive claims, which are based on historical assertions, have put it at odds with neighboring countries, including the Philippines. The Philippines, backed by international law, contests China's claims, leading to a standoff with significant geopolitical implications. The dispute has manifested in various forms, from diplomatic negotiations to military posturing. China's construction of artificial islands and deployment of military assets have raised concerns among regional powers and the international community. The increasing military assertiveness of China and the Philippines in the South China Sea is escalating the tension in this strategic resource-rich waterway. Over the past 20 years, China has been occupying reefs and atolls to the detriment of competing claimants, including the Philippines. Incidents between the two powers notably, a Chinese Coast Guard ship blocking and firing water cannons at a Filipino supply vessel on August 5th, raise concerns about the hostility between the two countries and should thus prompt a proactive response. The international community ought to mediate and overcome the possibility of further escalation. More recently than the water cannon incident, on September 26, Filipino divers cut a floating barrier Beijing installed on the shoal. The Philippine Coast Guard spokesman for the region, Commodore J. Terila, claimed that the barrier hinders the conduct of fishing and livelihood activities of Filipino fisherfolk in BDM, the Bajo de Masinloc, also known as the Scarborough Shoal, which is an integral part of the Philippine National Territory. Beijing reacted strongly to the admission when the Philippine Coast Guard released footage of the barrier being cut, warning Manila not to stir up trouble. Chinese Foreign Ministry spokesman Wang Wenbin, referring to the shoal by its Chinese name, said that China firmly upholds the sovereignty and maritime rights and interests of the Huangjin Island. However, as the Hague Permanent Court of Arbitration had affirmed the Philippines' exclusive economic zone claims to the region in 2016, the Philippines will not back down. Terriella told CNN because China might still return the floating barrier once again, they might still do shadowing and dangerous maneuvers. The Philippines intends to maintain its presence in the sea. Even though it is true that the shoal, following the 2016 Hog arbitration on the Philippines' claims, can be considered as an integral part of the Philippine national territory, an event such as the barrier cutting is neither a rational nor peace-oriented way to handle this sovereignty conflict. Given that the South China Sea is one of Asia's most controversial and disputed areas, the only way forward is to mediate between the two parties to establish a satisfactory solution for both. The Philippines would likely argue that forcing negotiations would harm their interests. While negotiations should never be held to the detriment of the party's legitimate rights, sabotage actions like the barrier cutting will only make it more difficult to reach a comprehensive, peaceful solution. In light of the clashes that we have been delineating, it is important to explain the content of the 2016 arbitration to give context to the Philippines' claims regarding China's violations of international law. The arbitral tribunal adjudicating the Philippines' case ruled in favor of the Philippines when it determined that major elements of China's claims were unlawful. China has maintained that the ruling was null and void. It is important to underline that the court's statement was not on sovereignty, as Chinese reservations to the UN Convention on the Law of the Sea precluded this possibility. Still, 
The Philippines managed to obtain a victory by focusing its case on the more limited terms of the legal status of disputed maritime features, rather than a determination on sovereignty. To conclude, acrimonious clashes, like the barrier cutting and the water cannon incident which came before it, are not and cannot be the way forward. Clashes between Beijing and Manila would only exacerbate tensions, making arriving at a solution to the dispute more and more difficult and unpredictable. Instead, there is need first for a call of deterrence, then for cooperation among the two parties along with the mediation of the international community, which so far has not taken a clear enough position in this context. Without mediation, indeed, Peaceful relations in the South China Sea will be far more difficult to achieve. This is why international organizations, notably the UN, need to take a more proactive approach in the matter. The Philippines, seeking to protect its sovereignty and maritime interests, has bolstered its defense capabilities and forged alliances with other nations, including the United States. This has further escalated tensions with the South China Sea becoming a potential flashpoint for conflict. As tensions continue to simmer, the risk of miscalculation and escalation looms large. The international community is closely monitoring the situation, urging restraint and peaceful resolution of disputes through dialogue and adherence to international law. The combative behavior between China and the Philippines in the South China Sea is not merely a regional issue, but one with global ramifications. It underscores the complexities of geopolitics in the 21st century and the imperative of finding peaceful solutions to long-standing disputes. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more insightful content on pressing global issues. Until next time, stay informed and stay engaged.